Hello, Buns. Welcome back to Spooky Bun Sundays, a weekly fall video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabuns Bun Mom, and today we're going to be talking about something super spooky. Because what is spookier than your rabbit getting sick? If you guys watched my GI stasis experience video that we put out just a few weeks ago, Cinnabon and I recently had a bout with stasis and luckily we had a first aid kit on hand that had quite a few things inside of it that helped aid her recovery and just made it easier when that emergency struck. So today what I wanted to talk about is what is in our first aid kit, our rabbit first aid kit, what I always have on hand. Before we get into it, if you love bunnies and love bunny content, go ahead and subscribe because we post videos every single Sunday and like this video if you found these tips useful. All right, let's get into it. So here is my first aid kit. This bag is from Bun Mom Makes on Instagram. She has an Etsy shop and it says Cinnabuns Care Kit. It is so stinking cute and it's where I hold almost every single one of Cinnabuns first aid things. The first thing that I have in her kit is our fur buster comb. This is a part of first aid because rabbits need to be groomed frequently. Rabbits will lick themselves and groom themselves. So if they ingest too much fur, that could actually cause a lot of issues in their tummies. So as a bunny owner, it is important for you to have a brush that works well so you can get off that excess fur and just keep them from getting too much fur in their tummies. I've talked about this brush before. This is the best brush I have ever used with bunnies. It has these little grooves here that really help get the fur without tugging too hard. It's the best. The next thing I have is a thermometer. Now this is not like a bunny thermometer. It's just a regular thermometer, which nice is if you sanitize it, you can use it too, but I recommend just keeping it for your rabbit. Ugh. A thermometer is good to have on hand. Just if your bunny's ever being weird, you can take their temperature. Yes, you take their temperature through their booty, but it's just good to have on hand if you think your bunny is sick, just to see if their body is getting really hot or if they're getting really cold. Sometimes after surgery, their temperature can fluctuate. So a thermometer is just a really good thing to have on hand. The next thing I have is a bug repellent. I like to take Cinnabon on little adventures outside and especially here in North Carolina in the summer, there are bugs, there's mosquitoes. And the last thing I ever want is for Cinnabon to get stung. So I got this repellent on Small Pet Select and it's been great. Just a nice little thing to have, especially if you're going outside and you're worried about your bunny getting stung by a bug. Just good to have on hand. The next thing in our first aid kit is a wound care spray. It's kind of like Neosporin for humans. This is just if you ever notice a little scratch on your rabbit, maybe they scratched themselves on some hay or got into trouble. It's just something that you can put on that'll help fight infection and help their wounds heal up a little bit more. If you guys watched our GI stasis video, you'll be very familiar with this next one. It is infant gas drops. What you're looking for specifically with infant gas drops is, okay, I'm gonna try to pronounce this, let's see. Symethicone? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly or not, but that is what you're looking for. These are dye free, they're infant gas drops, and these are really useful if your bunny is going into stasis. I explained this more in our GI stasis video, but when a bunny's gut starts to slow down, gas bubbles start to form, and these gas drops can actually help reduce those bubbles. So this is especially helpful for if it's late at night and your vet is closed, it's a weekend and you can't get to the vet, this is at least something you can do that's not toxic to your bunny that can at least aid in getting those gas bubbles to go down. The next thing I have, I have never used, but it's just some gauze, just in case Cinnabon ever had an injury where I needed to wrap it up, stop the bleeding, something like that. I've never used it, but again, I think it's one of those things. Gauze is super cheap, good to have on hand, and you never, ever know. Next up is Benadryl cream. This is not for animals. This is just a regular Benadryl cream. I got this back after Cinnabon got spayed. Cinnabon got an anesthesia, and she actually had irritation in the injection site on her back, and it freaked me out. I called the vet, and they just told me to get this Benadryl cream. It's perfect just for any type of irritation on your bunny, whether it be from an injection site irritation, maybe a bug bite, any type of skin irritation on your bunny, you can just put it right on there and it really helped clear that up for Cinnabon. Next up are nail clippers. I clip Cinnabon's nails. I actually had my vet do it for about the first six months of her life just while she was squirmy, but I did graduate to clipping Cinnabon's nails and we have a video all about how I do that that I'm gonna link up here. But I just got these on Amazon. They are great. They have like the little area that's for trimming their nails. Super easy and self-explanatory. I also have syringes. Oh my goodness. If you own a bunny, you need syringes, and I actually recommend having different sizes. I have these super skinny syringes that are really good for her medication. I also have syringes that are a little bit thicker. This is a five milliliter syringe. 
syringe, syringe. And this is what I use for critical care and anything that's a little thicker that can't go through that tiny little syringe. But if you own a bunny, you need to have syringes. They come in like packs of 10 and 20 on Amazon. Also for me at my vet, anytime we get medication, they give us a syringe, but you have got to have these on hand. So the next thing is not technically in my first aid kit, but I consider it a part of it. It's in my fridge and it is pineapple juice. Pineapple juice is a really nice natural remedy to help dissolve hairballs. So if you ever notice a ton of those linked poops in your rabbit's litter box that are linked by hair, you could syringe feed your rabbit just a little bit of pineapple juice. The enzymes in the pineapple juice help dissolve hair and it's just a really nice natural remedy. When your bunny digests too much hair, it can cause buildup. So anything you can do to help break down that hair and eliminate hair from going into your rabbit's tummy is good. So I don't really give her pineapple juice that often, but during molting season, if I'm noticing a ton of hair in her poop, that could be a good opportunity just to give her a little bit extra. Plus pineapple's a yummy treat for them. So it's a win-win. And the very last thing in my bunny first aid kit is critical care. I bought this the day I got Cinnabon because you never know when you are going to need it. Critical care is basically a like assisted food formula. It's for when your rabbit is refusing to eat and they need to get those calories. It just has a ton of nutrients in it. You mix it with water and if you saw on our GI stasis video, I had to syringe feed Cinnabon for a few hours to get those calories into her tummy. Critical care is really just used when a rabbit cannot eat on their own. There's a lot of different reasons for that. Recovering from surgery, dental issues, not feeling well, all sorts of stuff. But critical care is really important to keep. You just keep it in your fridge, have it on hand, so that way when an emergency comes up, you don't have to go searching in stores for it you can just open your fridge and have it right there. One last thing to note in my first aid kit is I have some medications that I've been given from the doctor anytime Cinnabon's been sick. I have a gut stimulant and I have a pain reliever, things that I've given Cinnabon before if she's been ill. This one's actually to treat worms back when Cinnabon had worms. And these are just things that I like to keep on hand in case I ever notice something similar happening to Cinnabon again. I can call up my vet, let them know what I have, and hopefully it's a situation where I can just reuse that medication. But with any medication, do not use it unless you talk to your vet first. And bun that is it. That is it is in our first aid kit. I thoroughly believe that you should buy everything for your first aid kit before you bring your bunny home. It is always better to be overprepared and to be extra safe than sorry. Emergencies can happen at any time and you just want to know that you have everything at your disposal to take care of your rabbit and make sure they're healthy. I hope that you guys are enjoying the spooky fall content so far and we will see you again next Sunday for another video. Bye buns.